What is it, the feeling in France about PSG and the signings that they've made? Uh, in a way, I think for the league was good to have Messi. Obviously, he brings in uh, the eyes that everybody wants to see Messi, everybody wants to see these uh, great players play. So in a way, it was fantastic to have uh, all these great names coming to the league. But in terms of you know the competitiveness and um, to have other teams being uh, able to compete for the title and to you know to to have some kind of interest in uh, disputing that title, it's uh, it's kind of tough because y you come after COVID nineteen, obviously a difficult time for the French football. Yeah, N not many clubs can mm -hmm. uh, buy players and could make big signings and. Uh, you see PSG bringing in six, uh, five, six players yeah. of the top, top quality. I know that most of them was free tr uh, as a free mm. transfer, but still, you still have to pay the wages. wages. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the subject of um, big transfers, it was no surprise, well, it was a surprise, but it was no secret that Kylian Mbappe wanted to leave. Um, <clears throat> and that, I suppose, shocked quite a lot of people because when Messi joined and Donnarumma and all those players, you think that's the, a great place to stay. This is what he said on it. I'm attached to PSG. G, and if I'd have left this summer, it would have only been for Real Madrid. I continued playing in August and I had no problem with that. Why did I want to leave? I thought my adventure was over. If I had left, it would only have been for Real Madrid. Leaving PSG was the next logical step. I just wondered what, what you thought of that situation and, and Kylian Mbappe as a player. Um, as a player, obviously, I don't have to say much. I think everybody can agree that he's a, a great great player that uh, will be around for the next 10 years you know competing for you know the the, the ballon d'or or to be at the top um in terms of this situation only him can really you know uh, say what uh, his feelings are what why he wants to go um obviously he has this ambition to play for Real Madrid which uh, I'm, I mean every single player in the world would like to <laughs> um so it's it's his choice it's what he w wants to do and if if he decides that the best thing for the best move for his career is to go to Real Madrid you know um like he said you know he was trying to <clears throat> get the best possible deal for PSG I think and um, I can't, you know, uh, blame him for wanting to play for Real Madrid, to be honest. Mm. What's he like? Do you know him? Um, <laughs> I only, I only <laughs> know him. That, is. <laughs> that look says it all. Playing against him, um, <laughs> you know, I only see him on the pitch. I don't know him personally, but on the pitch, uh, we were discussing back there with Darren. Um, He's not the easiest player to 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 play against, and um, you know he has his this confidence about himself, which sometimes for us can be a little bit, uh, you know, arrogant. <laughs> would you would you like him in yes. your dressing room? I would like him because he would score yeah. goals for me. Very so. great on the pitch, but with <laughs> you know, I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm sure he's a nice kid to to his friends and stuff. But uh, we're, we're we're rivals, we're opponents, and um, you know we we do what we have to do. Josie, in terms of getting back to your start to the season, um, clearly I would imagine, and you tell me if I'm wrong, when, when you play, when a, any team in, in, in the league plays PSG, for example, that's the team everybody wants to play well against and beat. Have you become a little bit on that side because you are champions and you know has it affected your start to the season? Did you maybe underestimate the effect of, of how much teams will now want to beat you because you are the champions? In part, yes. Uh, it's always a difficult transition. Um, we lost our manager as well. Um, and coming off winning the Super Cup against PSG, you know, you come off two titles. Uh, we lost our manager, we lost our goalkeeper, which was very, very Massive. important for us, yep. Mike. Um, and maybe you're right, maybe we just... Um, underestimated that everybody now looks to you know to beat the champions and you know you got to be ready to for that and uh, mentally I think um, we started the season not in the best uh, frame of mind talk sport breakfast with Laura Woods Monday to Wednesday morning 6 till 10
on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.